I had to come out and get something out of my car, but uh, this is interesting because uh, it's even foggier today than it has been the previous four days. Even foggier. That's uh, interesting. It just gets foggier and foggier every single day. <laughs> oh, crazy. Oh, well. What do you do? Just get up and get on with things. Right? Ciao. Okay, baby, we got to go to the farm safe. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the car. We got to go to the farm safe. Come on. Let's go. All right. Get in. Out through the indoor. <laughs> yeah, it's in. Thank you, sir. Nice. Well, thank you. Thank you. That was a compliment on my guilt. I'm working up to St. Patty's. It's looking good. Thank you. Hello, how mate? Hello, mate. How are you doing? Are you uh, Scottish? No. Well, yeah. Yeah. And you're not sure. Way back, my great grandmother was a Stuart. Oh, oh, Stuart. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Love you. Oh, thank you very much. But you got the accent, so that's why I. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. So there we are. We're done. We're out. Ciao for now. So there we are. We're done. We're out. No, no. Robbie Burns was over yesterday. This is obviously Irish. I'm ready for St. Paddy's Day. Yeah, Robbie Burns is history. I'm Irish. <laughs> I know it's a, it's an easy confusion. <laughs> Have a great day. Hey, baby, where are you off to? Hey, come here. Come on. Come here. <laughs> come on, baby. Come on. Come on. You're a good baby, aren't you? Yes, you are. Come okay, I'm in the recycling depot where I practically got physically assaulted from my mask the other day. So we're going to try this again, okay? Talk to you soon. Packing around, uh, packing around my mask, and I was uh, definitely determined to use it and put it on if anyone was challenging me for a mask again today. But that didn't happen, <laughs> not at all, not once today. We'll see if I can buy a bottle of wine for somebody. Mm -hmm. Good, how are you? Fine, Excellent. Do you have a mask? Um, I actually got a mask exemption. Government. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'm just leaving the liquor store now. Bought a bottle of wine and uh, no mask. I had to use my mask exemption, but everything went smooth and fine. Everyone was polite. So that was wonderful. Talk to you soon. Ciao. Yeah. Shake. So now, uh, Baby and I are going into the post office. Again, no mask, and uh, they never asked me here. They've never asked me here, so we're gonna do that right now, and Baby's gonna have her visit, and I'm gonna check my mail. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> in store, just what I need. Garbage. 
Oh, baby, come on. Time, you're good to go. Anyway, I gotta get baby out of here, so ciao. Yeah, sorry, baby never wants to leave the post office. She loves it in there. Hey, my dog's running off again, so I gotta go get her again. Ciao for now. Baby's getting another treat again. <laughs> How's that? One more tiny one. Hey. That's it, now. That's it, baby. That's it. Yeah, you're a real pig. Hey. How's it going, dude? Hey, how you doing? Not too bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're going to be out to the church. Yeah. Yeah, are you going to be there on Thursday? Probably. The church? Probably. Okay. Those are good carrots. Yeah, I don't have any more carrots, though, but... Oh, what, what do you got? I got nothing. <laughs> no country well, yeah, it's, it's all gone now. Yeah, I was going, uh, well, I think that was the last crop we had that I gave out to the church there, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I never knew that there was purple or white carrots. Yeah. I, I put them in my cell that night, and they were good, and then, and then just ate, ate them just a couple, couple of ways. Delicious, right? And sweet? They're phenomenal. I've heard uh, by somebody uh, since that day, yeah. it's probably the next day, somebody told me that the orange carrots are actually not normal. Orange carrots are actually an invention by the Dutch. That's what I heard. Yeah, and all of them are the normal ones except for the orange ones, and they came last because yeah. they were um, hybridized. Yeah. Yeah. Modified. Well, I remember. Uh, just and they probably them. lasted two weeks or something in the fridge yeah, and yeah, wouldn't yeah. rot. Yeah, wouldn't rot. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going home for a nap. Okay. So nice see seeing you again. Yeah. Ciao for now. Yeah. Come on, baby. Baby getting some love again, everywhere she goes, everywhere she goes. <laughs> She's so over friendly. She is too friendly, yeah. Yeah, he's standing, the stand is here. Are you going to do it? You gotta loosen that one. You gotta pull, pull both. This? Yeah. Or, or you, somebody gotta hold the bike here. So I ran into this next guy, and uh, I know uh, I didn't have my camera set right, and you didn't really see much of anything. You can see grass and stuff, and barely see the guy's feet and that. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd share this one next clip with you because uh, it's a really cool conversation about uh, really good stuff. So. Um, I don't know. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, won't last long, so <laughs> see what you think. Ciao for now. You're Scottish. No. Oh, you're not. You just like that. I just that like it. Yeah. I actually do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, good. No, everyone says pretty much the same thing first. Are you Scottish? Yeah. And it's like, uh, no, I'm not. But I am Irish. Okay. I, I hope that counts. Well, that counts. Have you been to? No, uh, it's, it's on my bucket list. Okay. It's one of my biggest dreams, man. Actually, Ireland, because I'm Irish. Yeah. But the whole UK, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, everywhere. I want to see the whole thing. It would be the... If it was the last thing I did before I died, that would be perfect. Well, I lived one year in London. Yeah. Awesome. And then the I can year imagine. I was in London, we, my family and I, we had a Volkswagen van. I went everywhere in Britain, oh, sweet. Up to Scotland, but I never did get to Ireland. Really? Yeah. Uh, I would like to go to Ireland, but I haven't been there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, no, well, just taking a step back, the reason I actually wear kilts yeah. is because I have severe Crohn's disease. Okay. You know what that's about? Not really. Well, I've it's heard. a severe bowel disease, right? Okay. And you can't wear pants, clothing, and you don't want to leave the house because they won't let you run around naked, right? Of course. <laughs> right. So anyway, it, I found out uh, through trial and error and stuff, um, this is the most comfortable thing to wear out there. Yeah. And then going online, I found out that it's the best thing for all your, uh, let's say, testicular, um, 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 you know, problems with uh, your prostate and all the testicular cancer and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's really good for all that. It's, uh, it's the best thing to have for any um, inflammable bowel disease or any of that oh, kind okay. of stuff. Yeah. So anyway, okay. that's why I do it. But the, the, the fact that I'm Irish is only a coincidence, yeah. really. But the thing is, is I guess part of that, my background was part of why I clued in. 
But anyway, anyway. So do you have a prostate problem? Oh, uh, yeah, oh, big time, yeah. Okay. I went on a special diet 10 months ago. Okay. For my prostate. Okay. And here's my diet. Okay. And, and I had an annual checkup, the first one I've had in five years, about a week ago. And my doctor said I'm doing really, really well for the prostate. And I don't have cancer or anything. I've just got a really big prostate. Yeah, they get enlarged as we get older anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So here's the diet. No sugar stuff. None. Okay, no sugar stuff. All the sugar's gone, yeah. Okay, this is my diet. Yep. I went on 10 months ago. Yep. No milk product. None. No dairy. No cow's milk, <laughs> ever. Yeah, or cheese. I love cheese. Actually, I love cheese, and it's it's actually a processed thing, so it's broken down. It's more digestible, but okay. that's just a moot point. Okay, that's me. <laughs> okay. okay. And then the last thing in my diet, and so for my diet, I tell you what I eat. I have boiled eggs every morning. I like boiled I eggs. I love eggs. Okay, so I have those every morning. I have every day. For Ten months. Lunch is a salad. Now, I'm yes. not talking about a salad. I'm talking about yes, a big, great big bloody salad. You big, name it. Yes. It goes in there. Veggies. I like yes. Veggies. Dinner's normal. Meat and stuff. Okay. Sure, yeah. But the last thing that I don't eat is grain products. Right. Like bread, pasta, rice. Pasta's out. Pasta's out completely. Yeah. Okay, so that's me. Pasta's out. To help my prostate. And I do eat a little bread because, yeah. you know, it, it's not I a... I love bread. Yeah. I don't eat it, though. But, yeah, it depends on what bread you eat. But, um, and I can get away with that. Uh, meat's not a big problem too much, yeah. but you keep it down to a minimum and everything. Yeah. But basically, here's what I do. Yeah. Instead of the wheat and all that kind of stuff, the best thing you can have, and it's misnamed, and I want it renamed uh, nationally or internationally because it's, uh, it's called buckwheat. I it, know the, I know oh, okay, and it's not it's not a wheat, it's not a grain, it's not even related to the grains. It's oh. a seed. Okay. It's a buck seed. Okay. And it was misnamed kind of by the Americans through the word the the, the Dutch word okay. beckweight or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's how it become buckwheat. Okay. And it's actually it's not related at all. It's a seed and it has more stuff, it has everything in it you need, absolutely everything. You you can live on that forever, just that and nothing else. I gotta check that out. Yes, do. I've got big bags of it, and I get the sprouted stuff yep. because it takes away more of the starches and sugars, okay. um, and so it's more just the nutrients. Okay. And I use that, I grind it up, and make pancakes, whatever bread. Yep. Yep. yep, and it's a really perfect, excellent substitute for any kind of bread product. And yeah, check it out. It's okay. the best thing. It has every every vitamin, it has amino acids, vitamins, everything. Good. Absolutely everything. And that's what I use all the time. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Talk to you later. Hopefully. Yeah. That was a pretty cool conversation I had with that guy there. It all started out as a kilt conversation in uh, uh, Scotland and all that kind of stuff and then turned into a nutrition conversation. Enjoyed that. So, I don't know. We've had our little walk and everything, a run and a dump. <laughs> she has. So we're just going to uh, move on. Try something else, I guess. Ciao. How's it going? You get a good oh. nap? Oh, oh, belly rub. Come on, let's do a flop. Come on, flop over. I'll give you a belly rub. <laughs> you want a belly rub? Come here then. Okay. Yeah, start with the head first. Yeah. Or he, him or he. I don't look she. at dogs private. She. <laughs> I don't look at dogs private. <laughs> so I always have to ask the owner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. She's going to love this. Oh, Goodbye for now. So now that the truck is cleaned inside, uh, we got the uh, battery charger all hooked up and everything to the battery and uh, give it a real good boost and. Uh, Probably leave that on, I guess, about 12 hours or something like that and make sure it's got a really good charge and then uh, we'll try firing it up and uh, just go from there. And then uh, as soon as someone's here to uh, start actually ripping off the propane uh, parts and just putting her straight to gasoline again, uh, then we'll uh, be uh, closer to getting her on the road. Anyway, we'll just let that sit for, I don't know, 12 hours anyway. And uh, take it from there. Uh, 
Well, today turned out to be a really nice day today. No uh, negative things happening today. It was a really pleasant day all around. Got quite a few things done and uh, got some shopping done and uh, groceries and stuff. And it was a really nice, pleasant day. Just, and, uh, I talked to Sandor again. Uh, he's uh, We've arranged that he's going to be out here probably in a, a roughly five days. He's going to show up out here and start working on the truck, get things going so we can get back on the road and stuff like that. So that's uh, going to be promising. I can't wait to have that happen. Oh, man, I seem wiped out all the time. It's crazy. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a nap now, and uh, I'll get up a little while later and have something to eat and uh, then get on with my night. <laughs> anyway, no rest for the wicked. <laughs> so, for dinner, we're going to make it simple. We're going to have curried tuna with tortilla chips. These are tortilla chips. They're not nacho chips. There's no such thing as nacho chips. You make nachos with tortilla chips. So I have a bag of tortilla chips to have my curried tuna with. So anyway, I only get the uh, pole and line caught tuna. That's the only kind of tuna I'll get. And please only get pole and line caught tuna. That's the only uh, humane kind of tuna you should buy. So please do this for me if you do anything for me at all thank you <laughs> anyway so we're going to uh, make us some curried tuna so we can uh, eat it with our tortilla chips Oops. Hmm. there we go put that back in the slot So again, only pole and line caught tuna. Only pole and line caught tuna, please. Please just get pole and line caught tuna only. It's a humane way to go. Anyway, so we drain that off already. Throw that in your bowl. Get it all out as much as you can. Mm -hmm. There we go, put that there for now. Ding, ding, all right. We've already smashed up some garlic already garlic garlic and pepper are food groups everything else is flavoring <laughs> but garlic and pepper are food groups they are pretty much a must on anything anything so here's a little pepper a little bit of pepper a little bit and i like to you know add more and more hints of flavors of everything so i got a little gram masala just a little bit, just to add that hint of that flavor in there. And this five spice, five spice powder is pretty cool. Just a tiny hint of that. Yeah, just a tiny hint of that. And of course, curry, like I said, here comes the curry. We've got to take the cap off for this one. Cap off for this one. There's going to be a pile in there. Yeah, there's a pile of curry. And then, of course, the piece de resistance is the mayonnaise. <laughs> there. Now, what I do with mine is I, I chop it because the tuna needs chopping. You start from the far side of the bowl and chop inward. Looks a lot easier that way. So, there we go. Okay, so that's all mixed and blended really well, beautifully. So we're going to have that with our tortilla chips. Tortilla chips, not nacho chips. I made curried, uh, curried tuna. I didn't make nachos. Nachos are what you make with tortilla, chip, tortilla chips, just again. <laughs> so I'm going to have tortilla chips and have my curried tuna with tortilla chips. Anyway, and uh, if I want to mix it up a bit, I can also have thick, thick original potato chips with that and dip that as well and as a sideline we're going to have some uh, Spanish chestnuts Spanish chestnuts these are delicious my dog eats them she loves them Spanish chestnuts for the side and we got some extra wonderful Coombe Castle Sage Derby 
Coombe Castle Sage Derby cheese. Oh man, this stuff's delicious. So I think we got a really nice spread for dinner tonight. So I'm going to sit down and enjoy this and uh, talk to you later. Ciao for now. There we go. A red tortilla chip with curry tuna. Mm. Mm. Regular thick potato chip with curry tuna. Mm. 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 That was the sage derby cheese. Mm. Mm. And chestnut. Mm. Mm. Baby loves yams raw and cooked, and she loves the chestnuts, Spanish chestnuts. They're healthy for both of us. Mm. Mm. So this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful dinner. Mm. Mm. So I think we're both going to enjoy this. Mm. Baby loves cheese, but she doesn't like the uh, sage derby cheese at all. Doesn't like it. Must be because she's a carnivore. <laughs> But she'll eat all my other cheese. Mm -hmm. oh. well, anyway, she needs more chestnut. Okay, well, we're just going to sit here and enjoy this. Ciao for now. Well, I've been telling you uh, every morning for, I think, four or five days how foggy it is, more foggy it is every day, every morning. But uh, it's really, really foggy overnight, like seriously foggy overnight. It socks right in at, at, at night, so I have to go out now and do my fir first tour So uh, around the yard. So I'm going to show you, try and take the flash, this flashlight out. This is my flashlight I take. Take it out and show you just how thick this fog is. I'm gonna find, see if I can find the darkest, darkest uh, spot I can find out here. And uh, darkest corner I can find. And we're gonna go and see, uh, show you, see if we can show you how thick this fog is just in the, in the flashlight beam. Let's go find somewhere. Well, we're getting closer, I think. So this is how thick the fog is in the air and all the minute, minute water droplets floating around in the air and hitting my face and skin and everything. This is how thick it is. Check this out. So I'd say that's a <laughs> pretty thick fog out here tonight, so I hope that looks realistic enough. And uh, now I'm kind of chilled to the bone from the fog and I'm gonna go in and have some hot chocolate. Ciao. Well, it's uh, three o'clock in the morning and I finished all my shift tonight. I gotta get up early at like, just before 10 o'clock in the morning, so. I need some shut-eye. So, get the hell out of here and let me sleep. Ciao.